Hello everyone, this is Gary Tonenkoff from MoreThanASnapshot.com. In today's video, I wanted to talk about updating to Photoshop CC 2015.5, which is a totally new um, version of Photoshop. So there's a couple things you got to be aware of when you update. Number one, when you go to your Creative Cloud to do the update, you want to do these two steps, first of all, so that you don't lose your plugins. So the first one is to click on Advanced Options, and then that opens up this little section, and you want to uncheck Remove Old Version. So what's going to happen is you're going to have the old version of Photoshop, which has your plugins already installed on them, and it'll install the new version of Photoshop separately that won't have your plugins, but there's a way where you can quickly and easily move them over if you save both of them at this time. And then once you've transferred everything over, you can get rid of the old version if you want. So that's the first step. When you install it, make sure you remove, uncheck this box so that you save the old version. All right, so once you have both of them installed, you can see here that I have um, Photoshop CC 2015.5 installed, and up here I have Photoshop CC 2015. It is two different versions. So now the next thing is to move the plugins from the 2015 to the 2015.5. So I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to go to Windows Explorer. I'm going to go to my hard drive, C drive, then to Program Files, and then to Adobe. And once I'm there, you'll see that there's a folder for CC 2015 and a folder for CC 2015.5. So what I need to do is to go into the old one, CC 2015, and then go to uh, plugins, and then here are the list of plugins that I had installed on that version. So I don't need the generator, but everything below that I'm going to, um, um, I might as well just hit Control A, and then on, I'll Control click off generator, I don't need that one, and then I'll just hit Control C. I just copied all of those. Then all I have to do is come back to Adobe, go to 2015.5, and then go to plugins and then I have already done it here but then I would right click on it and then paste and that's how it put all of my plugins in there so I had some on one I had some uh, mystical generator I had a few different plugins there that it moved over all right I didn't I noticed I didn't have to do anything special for my fonts or my brushes they they seem to automatically come over I don't know that's true, but I didn't do anything special, and they are there, so I don't have to do anything with that. Uh, actions, I did have a couple of actions that I wanted to make sure I got, so I'm not sure if I needed to do this, but I did this just in case. If you want to move your actions, you just come to the same place, the old Adobe Photoshop CC 2015, and then go to Presets, and then to Actions, and then just copy these, and then go again back to... CC 2015, and then to Presets, and then to Actions, and then paste them in here. And when I was done, when I opened up the full version, uh, now I have all of my actions. I have under Filters all of the uh, plugins that I had. And I also have, if I wouldn't look under brush and under fonts, I already had all of those. I didn't do anything special to get those. So I feel like now that my new version of Photoshop is up to date, just like my old one was, and I can go back and get rid of that old one. And I think this is a worthwhile update, so give Photoshop 2015.5, I can't say that, <laughs> Photoshop 2015.5, give it a try, and let me know what you think. Again, this has been Gary D. Tonquart from more than a snapshot.com.